A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark chapter 1 verses 29 to 39 and immediately he left the synagogue and entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John now Simon's mother-in-law lay sick with a fever and immediately they told him of her and he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up and the fever left her and she served them that evening at sundown they brought to him all who were sick or possessed with the demons and the whole city was gathered together about the door and he healed many who were sick with the various diseases and cast out many demons and he would not permit the demons to speak because they knew him and in the morning a great while before day he rose and went out to a lonely place and there he prayed and Simon and those who were with him persuaded him and they found him and said to him everyone is searching for you and he said to them Let us go on to the next town that I may preach there also for that is why I came out and he went throughout all Galilee preaching in the synagogues and casting out demons the gospel of the lord we live in a world where we face many challenges the challenges are social economical and spiritual Many of us face health problems and we fight for good health. I'm so shocked to see many people dying around due to lack of medicine. Hospitals are full of people and many go by home dead. It is the human reality. The saddest thing or worse thing is that people are not able to find enough money to make a better treatment. just being a believer in god is not the way of staying away from sickness jesus even suffered in his body very badly because he knew it is the way to glorify his father jesus is alive with us still sickness take away the lives of many people in suffering we don't go to the one to whom we must go god is someone to approach at the end when everything is given up Who do you take your troubles to? Jesus disciples freely brought their troubles to him because they found him ready and able to deal with any difficulty, affliction or sickness which they encountered. Today's gospel passage brings to us the very response of disciples when they came to know about the sickness of Peter's mother-in-law. They immediately informed Jesus about her. Jesus healed her and soon she served them. God does not take pleasure on human suffering. The willingness of Jesus to heal the suffering humanity and it is seen in his very attitude. That evening at sundown they brought to him all who were sick or possessed with the demons and the whole city was gathered together about the door and he healed the many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons and he would not permit the demons to speak because they knew him do you allow jesus to be the lord and healer in your personal life family and community approach the lord with expectant faith god's healing power restores us not only to health but to active service and care of others There is no trouble he does not want to help us with and there is no bondage he can't set us free from. We all can trust in the providence of God and look forward for his healing in our suffering. There is another way of looking at our suffering, a moment to thank God for we carry in our body his wounds with the trust we need to make our spiritual journey. and be sure we are here on earth with our own destiny nobody can rewrite what god has set for us in this world we need to submit to god and know his will every moment of our life wish you a pleasant day free of health challenges may almighty god bless you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen